二十條咧做配對，咁啊究竟 X Y 呢兩款 Neuron 啦，同一二三啦，究竟邊個打邊個咧？咁其實成條題目咧就係考下我哋嘅，究竟成個神經脈衝喺呢一個反射動作會係點樣傳送咧？今次係失弱反應，就係、是、由我哋背筋嘅。感覺神經元就去到我哋腹筋嘅運動神經元，咁所以第一個方法呢，判斷得到 X、Y 究竟邊個係 motor neuron， 邊個係 sensory neuron 呢？就係睇下邊個兜完背脊就返心口啦。咁所以呢，兜完背脊，背脊呢就係感覺神經元，心口嘅咧就係運動神經元。除咗呢個方法之外啦，仲有另一個方法嘅，睇返幅圖啦，究竟邊個愣住咗個 e f f e c t o r n e u r o n X 愣住 e f f e c t o r 就係個肌肉，佢係運動神經元。neuron Y 呢就係愣住。膝頭哥肌腱嗰個 receptor， 咁所以啦，佢就係一個感覺神經元啦。咁知道咗 X、Y 嘅身份之後咧，就去到一二三咯。其實頭先已經做咗 labeling 噶啦，二號仔係 sensory neuron， 三號仔咧就係 motor neuron。咁所以啦，根據翻頭先嘅配對啦 ，X 咧係 motor neuron， 就自不然就係三號仔啦。咁所以答案咧其實已經出現咗噶啦。再睇一睇埋啦，咁啊 Y 咧就係 sensory neuron， 咁二號係 sensory neuron 啊嘛。咁所以咧答案咧就一定係 D 啦。今次就問配對啫，咁下次啦可以問我哋啲咩嘢咧？就問翻啦。究竟有啲咩嘅神經元？咁下次咧就可以問咯，有咩神經元咧係牽涉咗喺呢個失著反應入面嘅？又或者真係問翻我哋嘅神經脈衝嘅傳播啦，就係、是、由 neuron two 去到 neuron three， 咁喺前後就加埋啲 receptor 同埋 effector 啦，係咪？問完失著反應啦，咁下次未問退縮反應咯。啊，究竟有邊啲嘅神經元係參與喺其中啊？又要我哋做配對啊？又問下個神經脈衝由邊個神經細胞去到邊個神經細胞啊？咁到頭來啦，最終極嘅問法，咪又係問返兩款 r e f r e s h 嘅比較囉。到頭來係新肌收縮定係屈肌收縮啊？到頭來我哋個關節啊，係伸直咗啊，定係屈曲咗啊？問嚟問去都係嗰啲嘢嚟嘅啫嘛，咁但係個 concept 係不變嘅。In cushion twenty, we are going to do the matching between the neuron X and Y and the neurons one, two, three. So in this question, we need to identify the direction of the nerve impulse transmission in the reflex action. This time is talking about the knee jerk reflex. So the nerve impulse comes from the receptor travel along the sensory neuron in the dorsal root and then transmitted to the motor neuron in the ventral root. So that's why we can use the first method to identify X and Y. So go to dorsal root and then go back to the ventral root. So we know that Y will be sensory neuron and X will be the motor neuron. And the other method is that we can take a look at the diagram to see that Neuron X is connected to the muscle, which is the effector. So that's why neuron X is the motor neuron. And for neuron Y, which is connected to the receptor, so that's why it is the sensory neuron. It's still correct. So after we can identify X and Y, sensory neuron and motor neuron, so we can do the matching. In fact, we do the labeling in the question 19. Neuron number two is sensory neuron, and neuron number three, which is the motor neuron. So the final answer will be. X is the motor neuron, so that's why it is free. And then Y, it is a sensory neuron, so that's why the answer is 2. So that's why the answer is D. Of course, one more concept is that, oh, how can you know uh, which one is the sensory neuron and motor neuron, Mr. Leung? Of course, we need to recall that the action and the dendron length, it can be the feature we can analyze. So that's why I do some revision on the book. So any other possible question variation? First of all, the neuron involved in the knee jerk reflex. I need you to tell me the nerve impulse transmission from the sensory neuron to the motor neuron. And for the knee jerk reflex, the interneuron is not involved. And the second variation can be after asking the knee jerk reflex, I can ask you the withdrawal reflex. So how many neurons are involved in the withdrawal reflex? Sensory neuron, interneuron, and the motor neuron. And I can also ask you to identify the direction of the nerve impulse transmission or even draw the reflex action for me. And for the final type variation will be the comparison between the knee jerk reflex and the withdrawal reflex. How many neurons are involved? Is the flexor or the extensor involved in this reflex? And what will be the joint condition? The joint will be strengthened or the joint will be bent. So you can see that doing MC is such an amazing tool for you to do the revision.